Good morning and welcome to Cindy's Kitchen. Glad to have you here. If you're new, welcome to the family. We're here Monday through Saturday, 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. If you miss and you're watching the replay, please write hashtag replay, say hi so we know you're there and we can say hi back. If you're looking for recipes, visit our YouTube channel, also conveniently called Cindy's Kitchen. Hit the subscribe button and then you get a notification every time a new recipe is loaded. Good morning, Annette. Good to see you. I was a little tardy today. I know it was like one minute, but I was tardy. Hey, Gail. Good morning, Beverly. Hey, Nina. I'm going with the whole aqua blue today. Although these are a little, look a little greeny, but it's aqua, aqua, aqua. My aqua dragonflies. Going with that color. Good morning, Joan. God morning. <laughs> Good morning to you. Hey, Vicky. Mmm. Okay. So I have to tell you uh, that, you know, because I started doing this, suddenly, you know, all the food videos pop up on my um, on my feed and all kinds of fun stuff. And, and normally I will never do anything on this show unless I've tried it before. Although, uh, the homemade vanilla I had never done. So that was brand new. But today, today I decided we were going to go out there and if it was a big old fail, then it was a big old fail. We were going to have fun anyway. Good morning, Linda. Good to see you. So, everybody have your coffee this morning? Coffee, coffee. Uh, there are 12 of you. I've had less than 12 good mornings, hellos. Remember, we don't like lurkers on Cindy's Kitchen. So, if you are here, let us say hi. Say good morning. Do a little emoji. Do a little hand wave or a little heart or something, right? Say yo. <laughs> Lift your cup of coffee. Hola. Mm. So, uh, anybody have fun activities planned today? Fun activities? I have a fun activity planned. Here's my fun activity. Good morning, Sandy. Um, the girls are gone. The girls are gone overnight, which means, what does it mean? Date night. Date night. I have date night tonight. Good morning, Mary. Hey, Joan. I know. Well, actually, we're, we're not making waffles. <laughs> Yo! Oh, Leanne, I like it. Yo! Um, anyway, so tonight is date night. Date night. Good morning, Diane. Good to see you. And uh, we will be having adult beverages. <gasps> oh, Oh my, yes, we will be having some adult beverages on date night. Good morning, Jennifer. <clears throat> so I'm very excited, very, very excited for tonight. Thank you very much. So, okay, I think we should just get going, right? We should, good morning, Julie from Northwest Houston. Nell's not on yet. You know, Nell always says, Nell from North Carolina, but she's not on. Morning, Kimberly. Doing okay. I hope you are too. Watching as you clean your bookcase, Linda? Well, that's okay. You can hear my big loud voice, right? You can hear my big loud voice. Okay, but because the children aren't here, that means the dogs are running rampant. So if you hear a bark, I am so sorry. Okay, last sip of coffee and let's go to town. You ready? Ready to go to town? Okay. Remember, no lurking. If you're here, you need to say hi, good morning, yo, something. Okay, last sip. Mmm. Oh, so yum. So, what is cooking on Cindy's Kitchen this morning? Today, we are having fun with the waffle iron. How many of you, North Carolina got smacked by the hurricane? Oh, I hope she's okay. Yeah, we need to we need to pray for Nell and I and our friend Janet lives in Maine, so I think it's headed that direction too. So um, yeah, we need to we need to keep those those folks in our prayers. Good morning, Maria. Good to see you. How many of you own a waffle iron? How many? 
say yes or no, whether you have a waffle iron. Now, I didn't have one for years, partly because I just made pancakes, although I like waffles, and it was another gadget for my kitchen. But then we kind of got in a waffle mode. And, and you know, I would buy that Belgian waffle mix and we would do, what dogs do I have, Heather? Um, well, I used to have a Papillon. We lost our Papillon. Um, now I have a Shih Tzu and uh, kind of a mutt dog that is, um, yes, 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 Linda does not. Uh, yes, yes, no, Diane does not. Um, kind of like a, Beagle, Chihuahua, Heinz 57. I don't know. Annette does not. Nina does not. Um, they were all, uh, there's an organization down here called Safe House Rescue. And so we usually have rescued our dogs from there. Beverly does not. It's spawning tornadoes like crazy over Pennsylvania, New Jersey now. Oh no. A cute mini one. You have a cute mini one? You have a waffle iron because your son loves waffles. Well, that's great. Okay, here's the one I have. You don't have to have the one I have. I probably got this one because it was cheap, right? You have an older model. This is an Oster one, see? And it flips, it turns like this, look at this. See, it flips like that, which I think is cool. And it's probably the only reason I bought it because I like the little flippy thing. No, Vicky doesn't have one. Okay, so that's probably why I bought the thing because I thought it looked cool. Um, Oh, my little, I, I'm going to plug in because I was supposed to plug in as soon as we started and that did not occur because you know, I have no, um, ex, uh, no plugins where we, where we tape. And so I actually have to run extension cords all over the place. Okay. So now mine, I don't know about yours. Mine says power and that's the red button. And then there's a green button. And when it lights up, supposedly it's ready. We rescue ourselves too. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, there's also a, like a high, medium. I'm just going to stick it in the middle. I have no recipes for any of these. None. We're just like flying by the seat of our pants. We're going to start with the hash browns though. Frozen hash browns. Look at that. Now, how hard is it to take your box grater and grate a potato? It is not difficult at all. The only thing is with, you know, potatoes have a lot of water. So once you grate the potato, you really need to put it in a tea towel, kitchen towel, cheesecloth, something like that, and like squeeze, 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 and get as much of the water out as you want, or as, as you can, right? That being said, uh, these are the frozen potatoes and I just set them out and they're like dry. They're dry now, all dry. Our animals are not our, yeah. Okay, so here I'm gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy with these. I'm gonna do salt. Look, aren't these little square ones cute? Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, pepper for your puppy cock, okay? And, ooh, hold on. Okay, and then what else should we put in there? Should we put cheese? We want cheese? You guys have to talk today because you get to decide what we're making. I have no recipes. We're just playing with stuff in the kitchen. So I'm just gonna put like, I don't know, maybe just a tablespoon. Tablespoon of cheese, and look at that. I'm just gonna mix it up. La 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 la, there we go. Okay, my green light's not on yet. The only other thing, I may need more cheese. I think more cheese, don't you think more cheese? More cheese, two tablespoons. How many hash browns did I put in there? Eh, maybe a cup, but I may not use them all. Green pepper, oh, that's a good idea. The green, hold on one second. Uh, no, sorry, don't have a green pepper, but I have this left of the red pepper. So how about that? I will, I will cut up just a tiny little bit. See, you ask and it shall occur, okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna do a little bit because you know we're not doing 12 tons. I'm not feeding you today. We're just experimenting today. Okay, all right, so there we go. Little red pepper, it works, I know. Oh, and that'll be like very lovely. Okay, and good morning, Cheryl. Tried hash browns, it seems to take forever. Yeah, I know. When you, okay, the green light is on. Now, we open up and the, we have to spray. I had spray, oh, here it is, okay. We gotta spray. 
la 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 okay spray and then uh oh my oh my i'm not gonna put a huge amount in there i don't know that i'm gonna fill it i think i'm just gonna well maybe hold on oh why not good heavens why not again no recipes today how sad is that no recipes okay La, 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 la. Okay. It all, the only advice I saw on there was to kind of mound it in the middle. There you go. Okay. So, hash browns are done. Hey, Cheryl. Okay, so hash browns are on. My little thing flips. I don't know if that's important or not, but I'm going to flip it. La, la, la. I flipped. Okay. Okay. Uh, again, I have no idea whether that matters, a hill of beans or not. While that cooks, I'm going to say like, I don't know, a few minutes. We'll check. I make regular waffle, add a scoop of ice cream, waffle on top, drizzle with caramel, chocolate, and Cool Whip. Yes, Linda, that would be lovely. We're going to do our, our omelet next. Now, I'm just going to do a two-egg omelet. Two eggs, okay? So, one egg. I just figure we just keep moving on. If we don't like what we make, then we say we don't like that one, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add salt, cause you know, salt and pepper. Salt, pepper, and I have a green onion. So I think I'm gonna put a green onion in there. What do you think? What do you want in your omelet? Tell me what you want in your omelet. You can pretend like I'm cooking for you, though I am not. So tell me what you want in your omelet. La la. And we'll see if I have it, okay? I'm gonna take my little whisk. Just gonna whisk that up. Do we need milk in here, you think? I don't know. Ooh, steam is still coming out of there. I'm just gonna do the egg. Ham and cheese. Ham and cheese. I do not have ham. I obviously have cheese, mushroom, spinach, cheese. Gosh, I don't have any of that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna put some cheese in there. I have bacon bits. Is bacon okay? Dried banana pepper or green pepper? I don't have green pepper. You guys already asked for that. Bacon and spinach. Okay, I'm gonna put bacon in there. I don't have any spinach. What else? Um, I'm gonna put a little onion powder in there, just because. Just a little. La la la. Oh, and you know what else? Hot sauce. I like hot sauce. Anybody else like hot sauce? Little hot sauce. Okay, so this is what I have. Two eggs, salt, pepper, a little onion powder, just cause, you know, and then bacon and cheese. I'm sorry, I know all of you guys wanted a ham and egg one, but I just don't, I didn't have any ham. Okay, let's flip this sucker and let's just check it. Okay, well, it is, it is a nowhere near done. I'm gonna turn it up. I don't know if the flippy thing is important or not. Nope to the hot sauce. Oh, uh, roasted garlic, right, because roasted garlic goes in everything, right? Yeah, maybe some garlic powder. Okay, uh, garlic powder, here we go. Okay, I'll do a little garlic powder in there. La, 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 we can put anything we want to in our egg. Okay, so we're gonna wait for that to go. La, la, while we do that, I wanted to show you something. My friend Cheryl came over last night and remember yesterday when I was talking about different patterns that you could your Polish pottery that you could mix and match, and um, if you can't get everything in a single pattern. And so my friend Cheryl came over yesterday, and this is what she said to me. She likes Susan's garden, and and she wanted to know what would go. Good morning, Lori. What would go well with Susan's garden? And so this is what this was my idea. It's still steamy. Mm, looks good. Okay, so I'm putting, with Susan's Garden, Hidden Dragonfly, because I want you to see this. So if you have a big Susan's Garden plate and the dessert plate of the Hidden Dragonfly, look how pretty that looks. Look, it looks like it's supposed to go with that. Or if you think that one's too busy, well, you just do a dash of hot sauce. You don't need to drown it. You can do the big hidden dragonfly plate and then the little Susan's garden. And look at this, look at this. 
It's like it just frames it out. Doesn't it look like it's supposed to go together? I think it's really pretty. So that was my suggestion of thing of a, a two patterns that would work well together. What do you think? You got to taste yesterday's food, yes. Cause Cheryl was over here. So Cheryl got to taste the butternut squash and the yellow squash casserole. Cheryl, tell them what you think. It's still not cooked. I think the hat, we should not have started with the hash brown. Although, like I said, I turned it all the way up. Oh, green onion. I'm, I'm gonna put the green onion in the egg too. La, 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 la. Okay, there's our egg. So now we have to wait on that. That's bad. Just took your fruit cocktail cake out of the oven. Oh, I love the fruit cocktail. Dragonfly heaven too. Yeah, see, I don't think, I'm not certain about that. Let's look at that. Look at this. That doesn't go well together. I don't think that goes well together. And quite frankly, that, that's too busy. To me, that's too busy. I don't like that. I mean, if you like it, that's fine. Okay, Cheryl says of yesterday, both were delicious, but her fave was the yellow squash casserole. It was so good. So good. Mmm. Okay. So, I may just take it out, because really, we're not going to stand here. Um, I wonder what would happen if I took it out now. Would it fall apart, you think? Anybody done this? I know, I love mixing and matching. The hash browns were in the waffle iron for 10 minutes and still weren't done. Okay, well, this may be our too much aqua, too. I agree. Well, today is my aqua day, but still. Um, I think so, too. I think we may say, eh. Eh. Do you think? Okay, hold on. Ooh, let me get. We may just take it off. And we may say, this one was a no-go, because I'm not going to spend this much time on a hash brown. Okay, here we go. Let me see what can happen. Yeah, it's gonna fall apart. It's not sticky together. Oh, well, maybe a little. Here's the only problem. I know, somebody's gonna tell me, hash, not so much brown. Yep. Somebody is gonna tell me that I need uh, the wooden things, and I don't have those. Okay, yeah, this is not making me happy. Hold on. Uh, okay, well, look, that's what we got. Now we gotta dig all this out, right? Um, and this is not gonna be easy, because then we gotta get our egg. I don't have six of these, so, okay. I'm gonna leave that in there, and we're gonna put our egg in. Maybe the egg, oh, we gotta spray again. Maybe the egg will soak up the rest of the potato. La la la, la la la. Okay, in goes the egg. The egg shouldn't take that long, should it? Who's done this one? Has anybody done this one? Tell me. Have you made the, the omelette? Nobody is chitty chatting. Okay, I got it down. It's all the way. This goes away. Here's our omelette. I mean our hash brown. Just add the egg to it. It's crunchy. Oh, it is actually crunchy. I bet if I'd have just left it in there a little bit longer, mm, and the cheese. Okay, well the cheese is really crunchy. Okay, so Cindy needs to be a little bit more patient. That would have been good. And if I, it tastes really good. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're not going this. Yeah. It tastes really good, though. I really like this. But I think um, Gail may be right, or um, who? Beverly may be right. Put some aluminum foil on the grill. Oh, okay. Maybe we put the hash browns on there, and then we, or we put the egg in there, and then we put the hash browns on there. Maybe we do that. Can I flip the egg or no? Do I flip the egg or do I leave it? Let's see. Oh, I flipped it. I don't know if I should or I'm not. Okay, so I'm gonna put our hash brown aside. We gotta start working on the next one. 
Somebody told me that today is National Chocolate Chip Cookie, or Chocolate Chip Day. Oh, oh, nope. It's kind of coming out of the, it's coming out of the sides. I don't like that. Okay, so I just bought these little bags. Look, morning Debbie, these little chocolate chips. Um, it's little bitty and it doesn't make a whole lot. And the only thing you have to have, which is what I like, ooh, heavy, heavy milk, is a half a cup of milk. Half a cup of milk, that's all we need. I'm gonna sit this over here, pour the milk in. I'm gonna use this, my Danish batter doodah. Although this is a smaller, should I check on the egg? Hold on. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, but I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit longer. Okay, so um, again, chocolate chip muffin mix. Cause you know, it doesn't make a whole lot. They're just the little bitty packages. And I thought, well, that would be fun, right? And then um, uh, Joanne sent me a message and said, don't forget, today is National Chocolate Chip. Deb, you have to just go with the flow. Oh, okay, well, Annette, good to know, aluminum foil. But if I use the aluminum foil, does it take away the, the uh, marks? Because I don't want the marks to go away. I want it to actually look like a waffle. So I don't know if you've done that. Okay, ready? Wait, let me get another plate. Plate. Oh, like that. And that didn't take long at all. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Come off of there. Ta-da, look at that. Oh, now that is a good looking omelet, wouldn't you say? And you know what? All the hash browns and stuff that were left in the bottom are on here now. Good idea. You guys, that was awesome. Okay, I've got a, a wet wipe. I'm not gonna actually wash the whole thing. I'm just gonna kinda wipe it down because I'm moving from savory to sweet and I don't want any cheese in here. So has anybody actually, the aluminum foil and works well, the marks won't be as deep. Okay, all right, well that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna wipe it down. La la la, okay. Then we're gonna spray again. We're spraying. Spraying. Marks, uh, pretty, I know, it looks good. Uh, let's use, let's use a, a ladle. Okay, let me move this over here just a little bit because I know you can't see it. There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a ladle of, ooh, ah, ooh, well maybe a little bit more. And this is, again, this is just chocolate chip muffin, chocolate chip muffin mix, okay? All right, down we go. So, and then we make sure it locks. And then I think I'm supposed to flip it. Okay, I'm gonna flip. See, this is not good. Okay, but you know what I do wanna do? Look, look at this. Look, look, mm, so good. I'm gonna take, okay, I should use a fork, shouldn't I? But I'm, I'm not going to. Look at this, yum. And then I'm gonna take some of the the hashy brown that's crunchy with cheese. Hold on. Mmm. 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 Okay, that's really good. Okay, we can do this. This is good. Okay. Experiment one, needed a little help. So hash browns. Experiment two, which was the egg omelet, Huge hit, huge hit. So maybe the answer then is we do the, we do the egg and the house browns all together. And quite frankly, that's quicker. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, so that's that one. Apples, or no, let's do wild berry. Cause you know what? We should have lots of um, sweet stuff today. Okay, so again, this is so easy, because all you have to do is measure ooh, a half a cup of oil, and I think these are like a dollar a piece. 
Was that about right? A dollar a piece. And so quite frankly, especially, let me, I'm gonna check it. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it's done. Oh my gosh, that was so quick. Okay, plate. We'll use this one. Okay, I probably should use more because I'm not getting all the way around. It's, it's like not a, a pretty all the way around. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Chocolate chip. Yum. Okay, I'm going to set that right there. I got a whisk. Where's my dude? Oh, there it is. Okay. I am not washing this. But there were no chocolate chips on it. Okay. Anyway, these packets say muffin mix, which is fine. Um, potatoes. The egg might help the waffle hold together. I think so, too. Your daughter watches you in the evenings and rides and tells me the Polish pottery patterns. That's so funny. It is kind of a balancing act. Okay, so this one is wild berry. I like this one because it's just pretty. And even though it says muffin mix, oh, I need my, hold on. Even though it says muffin mix, you know, I'm lazy and, oh, I didn't spray. We gotta spray every time, don't we? Spraying, spray, spray. I'm gonna use more this time, so hopefully we get the whole shebang. In the middle we go. Um, I'm lazy, so I rarely put these in muffin tins, um, even the Polish pottery ones. I'm, that's how lazy I am. So I normally just put it in a little baking dish. Gosh, I got crud everywhere. Okay, down we go. La la la, and then, then we turn. Okay, and then we leave. All right, the last one I have, um, should we do another one like that? No, let's not do that. Let's do, where did my, here we go. Look at this. Now you gotta make a decision. Do we do syrup? Oh, look at this. Look, I took my little cow. It's a creamer. It's a little creamer, and I put syrup in it. Look. <laughs> it almost looks like it's, never mind. I'm not going to say. Look at that syrup coming out of the cow. <laughs> or the baby cow. Or we could get excited and we could do this. La. Look at that. That's good, right? Okay, we got a taste. Um, I'm going to use a fork this time. A fork, I tell you. Oh, and I'm going to get the one with the syrup. With the syrup and a little bit of the whippy cream. Okay, oops, that fell off. There we go. See, see, see. Mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh, chocolate chip is good. Mmm, look at that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, that was good. Okay, I gotta keep an eye on this because I'm gonna leave it in just a second. We're gonna go to the second, the next one. What's next? Mmm, I know what we're gonna do. Apples. Have you ever seen this one? Where's my little core? Oh, here it is. I hate this thing. Whip topping. I know. Ice cream would be really good on the chocolate chip one too. You're right. Okay. I bought this little core thing, right? So that I can go up and then look at that. Ta-da. I'm going to cut these. Oh, I think we're... Hmm. Yep, I think that's done. Okay. Here we go. Here's our next one. And this one is more pretty. No, you know what? I'm gonna leave it in there just a little bit longer. I want it like crunchy. Okay, so I took the core out of my apple. This is a, I think this is a Honeycrisp or a Gala. I can't remember. Okay, and I'm gonna cut, let's, let's talk about maybe, I don't know, maybe a quarter inch thick slices. Can you see me? Oh, you can't see me slicing. Okay, well, I don't know if that's important or not, but hold on. Okay, there, see? Look, I see you. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, so just about that thin. One is the, and then we can do this. Hello. Okay, so then what do we do? Well, because, you know, they're just apples, right? So, oh, I need to cut one more. Do I need one more? I'm gonna cut one more. And then, is anybody having fun yet? Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. You guys are like, come on, come up with a real recipe and then we'll talk. 
Okay. Hold on. Oh, I gotta flip it back. Oh, now I like this. Okay, let's look at this one. This one is more crunchy. Where's my doodahs? There we go. Uh-oh. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Flippy. There we go. Look at that. It's almost perfect. Look, I needed a little bit more batter right there, but almost perfect. I'm going to set that one. That's the berry one. There's a little bit of, of uh, stuff there. I'm going to wipe. I know. You guys are going, you should wash it, but I'm not. Okay, did I tell you? Yesterday I told you, okay, here we go. Oh, I broke it, I broke it. I do want to try the muffin mix and the waffle iron. I know it's easy, right? Okay, remember that I keep my cinnamon sugar in here? So I thought it would be really fun if we do this. Watch, I'm gonna take, um, well actually, I think I'm just gonna put I think I'm just gonna dump some cinnamon sugar in there, okay? La la la. This is with my Saigon cinnamon. Remember, when you're making cinnamon sugar, it's like three tablespoons of white granulated sugar to um, one teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? So I'm just gonna dump this in here. Look at that, look, look, look. Oh, oh wait, I'm gonna spray this first. Spray, spray. All right, so one apple, look at that. Look, look. Yum. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna get another apple. I'm gonna dip it in my cinnamon sugar mixture. There we go. We can pretend to be healthy now, right? Oh, I think only two are gonna fit there. Okay, I'm just gonna do two. Mm. Mm. Yum. Now this is a little harder to lock down because they're so thick. Yeah, it may not lock down all the way. Hold on. No, nope, it won't. Okay, well, so that's apples. I know, it is fun, right? Okay, so there's the apples. What's next? What else should we try to waffleize? Cinnamon rolls, let's do cinnamon rolls. Okay, well these are orange rolls. Do you have orange rolls or cinnamon rolls? You're doing the apple. I know, you healthy people. I'm like doing brownies and muffins. Okay, we're gonna open these. We're gonna just waffleize everything. How fun is this? Oh, okay. Oh, I was gonna tell you, yesterday I was so excited because I was like, uh, oh, come on. Uh, 18 away from 200 on my YouTube channel. What is your cinnamon sugar bowl called? Uh, black. I don't know. It's an Andy's. It's an Andy's pattern, and I think she just calls it black. I don't know. Um, it's kind of a closeout, too. I think they're on sale. Grilled cheese, yeah. Okay, how many do you think we can put in there? We'll do three, maybe three. I don't know about the four. Do you think four? Okay, I hate when that happens. Good God all my, oh, sorry. Look, they're all coming apart. All right. I'm gonna rewind it. Be kind, rewind. Okay, there we go. All right, so one, I'm just gonna set it on the cutting board. Oh, I'm not happy with this. Oh my gosh. Okay, pretend like it's a cinnamon roll. Roll it back up. This one came totally undone. You gotta do the Princess Leia bun. La, la, and la. This usually only happens, good morning, Judy. This usually only happens when you buy the cheap brand, like you buy the store-bought brand, you don't buy like the good brand. But no, this is the good brand, thank you very much. Okay, um, let's chip. Oh my gosh, they look so good. Oh, and now, look, now, now I can lock it, it went down. Okay, uh, let us, you know what we should do on that one while we're waiting? I have a strawberry. I have a strawberry that I shall slice. One, two. 
I know, I got too much stuff going on here and you can't see everything. Strawberries. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Strawberries. This is our pretty one. The berry one, the, the wild berry or whatever. So I think I'm gonna put some strawberries on there. That's not enough, is it? Is that enough? More strawberries or is that enough? You tell me. I think more. Come on, folks. Got a chitty chat. My young, my oldest daughter wanted me to do macaroni and cheese. Eh, maybe another time we'll do mac and cheese. Okay, so there's that. What else do we need on here? We need some powdered sugar. More, thank you. We need some powdered sugar. So here's what I'm gonna do. I don't have one of the right, the, the right kind that you're supposed to have. All I have is my spider. So I'm just gonna do my spider and I do a little powdered sugar. La 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 la. Oh, that's way too much because it went over the edge. Okay, that's enough. And then we need more whipped topping, don't we? Oh, look at that though. Isn't that pretty? Just a little bit, whoops. Just a little bit in the middle. Look at that. Oh, yum. Do you do this? Oh, it blew up in my mouth. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're taking this off. Oh, baked apples. This is so yummy. I'm just gonna do this. Yum. Look at that. Look at the grill marks on there. Oh, and they're soft. Hold on one second. I gotta, I gotta wash. Now, I will say that the baked apples, it's one of the reasons, because I was thinking cinnamon and sugar, it's one of the reasons that I did the baked apples and now I'm doing the cinnamon rolls, just because the cinnamon and sugar kind of made a mess in here. Look. Ugh. Okay, spray. Spray. And now we're taking our cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon rolls, although, I have had deep fried mac and cheese. I think it's lovely. Um, at the grocery store, they had these little packages that you could buy. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the cinnamon rolls on there and we're gonna shut it down. Ah, mac and cheese does sound good, I know. Waffles with whipped cream and strawberries, yum. Oh look, it let me turn it. Okay, we're gonna let that cook. And whilst that cooks, we're gonna taste this. Oh no, we tasted that. Did I taste that? I don't know, let's taste it again. This is the berry one. It's pretty, but how does it taste? Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. I let that cook a little longer, so it's a little crunchier. Mmm, so good. Okay, apple time. Hammer time, no, apple time. Look at that. Look how pretty those are. So it's kind of like baked apples, but just like, bam, right there. That didn't even take us two minutes. Mm, 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 mm. That is so good. The cinnamon and sugar on there, oh, so good. You gotta make those. That's good, that's really good. Okay, I have to have another bite of that. Quite frankly, this would be good on top of the waffle. Mm. Okay. Do we have anything else? Anything else you want me to make? Anything else you want me to go and look through the kitchen to see if there's anything else we can waffle eyes? I don't have time to make mac and cheese. Oh, what did I put in here? Oh, the cinnamon rolls. Let's just check them. They can't be done, but I just want to look. <gasps> oh, they're done. Oh my gosh, that was so fast. Come here, you. I cannot believe they are done. Look at that. Those are our, our orange rolls slash cinnamon rolls. And now look, we get, mm, mm, that orange, the, you know the little packet that it comes with? Look, this thing. See, this is the orange rolls instead of the cinnamon rolls, right? And then you can just kind of smooth that all over. Look at that. Oh, 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 oh. Yum. Okay. Now I gotta eat some. We'll just use that spoon that I used to spread the orange stuff on. 
Because you know that means there's more orange stuff on it. Look. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. Look at that. Cinnamon rolls or orange rolls. Waffle eyes. Okay. I got to turn this off. Nobody, nobody gave me any other suggestions. So that means we're done. So what do we do? It was a big day. We started out with our hash browns, which really would have turned out okay had we just been patient. Cindy is not patient. And let them cook just a little bit longer. Then we made our omelet. Mmm. And we put green onions. We put bacon, cheese, salt, pepper, onion powder, I think some garlic powder, okay? Quite frankly, I'm eating this with this. What a great breakfast. And how quick was it? And I especially think that if you put, if you mix the hash browns in with the omelet, then it's all together. It's a one and all breakfast. I love that. And the other reason I like it is because if there are people in your house and everybody wants something different, you can have like everything laid out like a bar. They can mix whatever they want in there. You want red pepper, you want hot sauce, you want green onion, whatever it is you want. You want ham, you want bacon, you want cheese, you want no cheese. You get to mix your own and make your own omelet waffleized. Okay, so then the next thing we did, oh look, my whipped cream has gone all whooshy. This is the chocolate chip one. Remember we did the chocolate chip muffin mix. Look, can you see the chocolate chips? Because today is National Chocolate Chip Day. Mmm, mmm. We could have done brownie mix too. I should have done brownie mix. And that's the wild berry one that we topped with strawberries. We used our little cow thing with syrup in it too. Moo! Okay, then we were healthy. Well, and we did apples with cinnamon and sugar. And finally, we did cinnamon rolls or orange rolls. Oh, look at that. Look how the orange, the sauce is like swimming in the divots. Oh, the divot is gonna be my favorite place today. Did you have fun? Oh, come on. Tell me you had fun. There was no plan today. I mean, could you tell? It was like, what do you want? What should we cook? It's waffleized everything today. So no real recipes to print today, um, but I hope you kind of experiment. I always like it when we get to experiment and try new things. I mean, quite frankly, just walked around the kitchen and started shoving things in the waffle iron. And especially if you're cooking for one, look at that, how easy. If you have muffin mix left over, just stick it in the fridge, make it again tomorrow. I hope you had fun today. From my kitchen to your kitchen, I hope you have big, waffleized dreams today. And you come back tomorrow at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time for some more of Cindy's Kitchen. Don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel if you haven't already and subscribe. I think we're 17 short of 200. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.